How's it going guys? Welcome to Blade Show 2019 and uh, today we've got something a little special. We've got Taylor from Best Damn EDC. Thanks, thanks for being on, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally. Um, great. And uh, if you guys don't know, Taylor has an amazing channel here on YouTube as well as a pretty awesome Instagram page. So if you haven't checked him out, check him out. Best Damn EDC. It's good stuff. Really good stuff. Um, so actually, the reason that we have Taylor on today is we are going to be looking at some of your guys' uh, pocket dumps. So we put a call out on the Blade HQ Instagram. We said we'd have Taylor on, and uh, so we're gonna take a look at uh, what you guys are carrying, and then at the end, we're gonna show you what I'm carrying, we're gonna show you what Taylor's carrying, and you guys can tell us who did it better. Ooh, yeah, I did, competition. I just made it a contest, so Dang. you guys let us know at the end. <laughs> oh. All right, so let's jump into this first one, man. Because okay. um, this, this is what you do. This, yeah. is, this is your jam, is looking yeah. at people's pocket dumps. Yeah, Okay. That's... cool. Pretty much my life now. <laughs> Pretty much your life now. Stare pocket all Before day. we started filming this, uh, we actually were like going through the posts you guys had made and trying to pick the best ones. It was really hard because we could only pick a couple. And uh, Taylor's just kind of laughing at me. And he's like, now you know what my everyday looks like. <laughs> yeah. Like people, people don't understand why it takes so long. And it's, it's tough to narrow things down. Yeah, there, are, there are hundreds of submissions every month. And picking five a week is yeah. really tough. And solid submissions too. Yeah, because um, yeah, there are a lot of them. Yeah, like like this first one. So this first one comes from Gorilla Leatherwork on Instagram. Um, it appears that he does some sort of leather smithing, leather working, so maybe check him out. Um, but the reason that we picked, why, why did we pick this one? This one popped out specifically uh, for a very specific reason. I was reason. like four feet away and I'm like, ah, oh, that one. <laughs> the Nirvana. <laughs> yeah, the Nirvana, right? Nirvana that. Yeah, yeah, that's a grill knife. I mean. They're really hard to come by. Yeah. It's discontinued. You yeah. can get a custom from Peter Rosenti, but it's... Right. You're going to pay for a custom. Yeah. Very <laughs> expensive. Um, but I also like that handle in particular. I love the blade shape. It's probably one of my favorite blade shapes from Spyderco, but the handle yeah. is just... Absolutely beautiful. Um, now, I'm not as up on all of the little EDC things, right? Because there are so many, and they're, they're super yeah. rad. You, yeah. actually had a, you actually had a thing about a company that makes like little EDC pocket stuff, and they make like a universally adjustable wrench or something like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Big Idea Design. Yeah. They have a TI EDC wrench. Yeah, I need it's to get that titanium. wrench. And this is yeah. why I love your channels, because you turned me on to all these little things I didn't know about. Yeah. Um, so, at point in place in this picture, this key bar has a knife blade on it. Now, yes. this is something I'm unaware of. Is this like a common mod that people are doing? Or? I, I don't know if it's common. Key bars are Yeah, of course. Popular, yeah, yeah. Key, key bars are everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah but the, the blades, I, I saw them start popping up maybe a year ago, okay. maybe a little longer. Um, but they, there are a lot of different versions of the, the blades that go in the key bar, and they're okay. made by a bunch of different companies. Yeah. Um, I really don't know the, the logistics of how that works, whether they're working together or if they're just making a blade and saying, hey, it works with a key bar. Right. Uh, but there's like a, f a flipper. There's a flipper with a, uh, a like That's a liner so lock, cool. a liner lock that goes inside the key why, bar. So why not just buy a knife? Just because the just the fun of like altering your thing and making it your own, or yeah. And and I'm gonna be working with key bar some point in the next few months, and we're doing basically a, a DIY, uh, like uh, almost like a DIY Swiss Army knife. Okay, so you cool. can you can kind of piece together. They have so many tools that go in them. Yeah, like yeah, key bar yeah. sells tweezers and yeah, they sell a ton. Yeah, tons of tools, so you can kind of piece together the tool you want. So if there's not a Swiss Army that has exactly what you want, you can, you're can. you gonna pay for it, but you can make your own. Yeah. So. Um, and now this one also has a pry bar. Do you recognize which pry bar it is? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Lynch Northwest. Lynch Northwest. All access pass. That yeah. is the, is that the two? That's a two. No, that's a one. One, it's a one okay. 1.2. Yeah. yeah. So I love the Lynch Northwest pocket clips. Mm -hmm. I don't have as much experience with the pry bar. As you guys know, I'm a little hard on my knives. You just use my knife as a pry bar. <laughs> Don't do that, kids. It's not a good idea. <laughs> it's not, just, you can get a pry tool for cheap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you uh, can. But that's something else to carry, too. Yeah, it's, so. that's the thing is pocket real estate, right? Yeah. Like, that's kind of the balance. Um, with some of these pictures that we were looking at, some of them were a little, like, unrealistic. I was like, you don't carry that every day. Yeah, that's there, not real. There's some with, like, in excess of 30 items. Yeah. And I'm like, no. Nah, There's no way. Nah. Yeah, yeah. But this, this seems like a, a pretty, like, doable pocket, though. This seems pretty yeah. real. Um, and then, okay, so notebook. Are you a notebook man or not a notebook man? Depends on the day. Oh, okay. Depends on the, like I've been walking around with a little notebook holder because I put all my stickers and business right. cards in it. Yeah, but yeah. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And that's it's funny. I'm gonna diverge a little bit here, but the funny thing is, like I started doing this EDC stuff because I like EDC so much. But 
I, I don't have an EDC anymore. Yeah, <laughs> not, not, nothing consistent. No, it's different every day. You just like wake up and you're like, I guess these things. I spend like 20 minutes every morning like, <laughs> mm, this today. So. Do you have like, do you have like that really trick like tabletop and everything's like knolled out perfectly and no, I it's have lighted a, beautifully and. <laughs> I wish, I have a craftsman toolbox full of EDC gear. It's like That's also flashlight. still pretty awesome. That's also still pretty <laughs> it's, awesome. It's flashlights, knives, you know, just. Every drawer has you know, nice. something in it. Nice, awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, and then the leather in this one is actually, it, it appears as though it's from Gorilla Leatherworks. It's like yeah. a minimalist wallet or something yeah. that he made. I've not heard of him, but yeah. I mean. Super cool. Yeah, that's how um, I find out about a lot of people is they submit through the show. Well, and you were, you were mentioning that that's uh, kind of a big part of the EDC community is there's a lot of little makers and there's a lot of guys making their own little stuff just for them. Yeah. Right? So. Yeah, and th this is one of those guys. This this next submission. Yeah. So is so. Forward, yeah. Who is this? Who is this guy? This is John Smith, and John's a good friend of mine. Eight seven five FPS on Instagram, but he does Swiss Army knives. So he makes custom Swiss Army knives out of copper, titanium, brass, uh, just all sorts of cool stuff. But yeah, he's got one in the picture. Yeah, so the yeah. company is technically Brassworks, but okay. he he really just pushes everything through this this account. But um, he's actually probably the guy that got me into EDC. Oh really? So I did a video a long time ago, and uh, I wasn't really into. It. I was into tech, mm -hmm. and there's kind of this really weird fringe like yeah. overlap uh, between the two. And I did a tech EDC, and I th somehow through that I found John, and I just I saw one of his pictures, and I'm like, I don't know what any of this is. Like this is all new to me. <laughs> and the further I went back in his feed, I'm just like, I what is this world? And then I, just, I started talking to him, and. I don't know. It just kind of went from there. Cool. But, right on. Uh, so he was he was the one that had the gateway drug then. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's a huge proponent of like supporting small makers. And right. That's one of the reasons I respect him so much, but also why his pictures are so cool. Yeah. It's always, it's, there's always something new. Yeah, and always. and unique, right? So speaking yeah. of small makers, like what does he have going on in this picture? Um, well, his own knife, his own Swiss Army knife, is in the bottom. That's the right, titanium yeah. knife there. But uh, you've got a Fellholter pen. I don't know if that's technically a small maker anymore, yeah, but yeah. Fellholter pen. Um, the Cologne that's in this. I don't know if it's necessarily an EDC item, but it could be because they have little stubbies that are like 1.5 milliliter bottles. Okay, yeah, tiny. yeah. Like get off work and like I hit the club, just gotta be ready. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Guys, when Taylor saw the cologne in this picture, he's like, oh my gosh, that cologne. So I don't know what it's about, but like it's probably worth checking out. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a company called Musk and Hustle and it's just little like vials. They call it a stubby of roll-on cologne. Huh, and interesting. It's, it's very strong, but it's, I've not smelled one that didn't smell amazing. Like cool. they're all good. Right on. <laughs> um, I think that's also his pry bar in the middle there. He yeah. makes brass pry bars, which some people are like, why, why brass? Because yeah, it's it kind of soft. Yeah, seems like a softer thing to make um, pry bar out of. Yeah, I don't yeah. know, but Sabin's is not really small either. But your yeah. uh, your Burnley Side <laughs> Pop is maybe there because I don't think a lot of people know the Side Pop. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people know the Side Pop, but we at Blade HQ, we love Burnley. We love the Side yeah. Pops. We do drops every occasionally with them and stuff like that. We yeah. had a drop recently, it was called Blood Money. Yeah, and it, it, that was probably one of my favorite. If you guys know what I'm talking about, Google it or look it up on the website. It's I love that one. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. But the the Kiridashi, I don't know. And that, that's the thing about John. Like every time I see a photo, there's something in his photos I don't know. So. Yeah, <laughs> you're like who knows. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm noticing there's like some sort of Damascus stuff going on. Yeah. So he, I know he bought this pin used from someone. He doesn't. Yeah. I don't think he even knows the full story. But right. It looks like there's maybe a Mokutai or Damascus clip and. Tip, I guess is. I don't, yeah. I'm new to the pin world. I don't yeah. know, but I, it gets deep. Um, <laughs> I thought like a hundred dollar pin was expensive, which to me a hundred dollar pin yeah. is. These fell halters like this can get very expensive very quickly. Well, and this like, is and people will pay like three hundred bucks for a clip. Yeah, and this is a thing. It kind of in the EDC community in general, right? Mm -hmm. Is um, so like I'm I'm very much just like a use type of guy. I like my yeah. stuff to look nice. I like the way it feels and that type of thing. But at the end of the day, like I'm not gonna go buy special titanium screws or spacers or anything like that. But this is like yeah. a huge thing in the EDC community, right? Yeah, there there was a guy who submitted a while back, and so I, I price everything out. I don't price it out, but I list everything when when somebody's featured on right. the show. I list everything, yeah. and a lot of the time I'll just kind of make a mental note of the price. And there was a pin that I, I priced the whole thing out it was over a thousand dollars. Like just all the different assembly pieces and everything. Yeah, ju there was a wow. uh, just the cap on the very end, which didn't do anything. It was just right. it spun. Right. It was four hundred dollars. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So pocket jewelry is real. Let let us sure. let me know down in the comments, guys. I'm interested uh, for the, you guys watching in Blade HQ. I'm interested how many of you guys walk around with kind of these EDC 
see pocket bling, pocket jewelry pieces. Um, just out of interest, like I've got no judgment on it. Yeah. It's not my bag, but like it intrigues me. You know what I mean? It intrigues me. Yeah, and I had, I had my first bit of that recently. Yeah. I got the, there's an Eric Oaks Orca uh-huh. with Mokutai clip and bolster, not bolster, but a pivot collar. And even then I'm like, wow, I don't want to, I don't want to use this. It, yeah. it, it takes that whole use thing to new levels like I don't know. It feels wrong to use right. something that's that pretty. <laughs> it's just too pretty. If yeah, like you you get <laughs> knives like your Sabenzas or Mini Quick or whatever, which I know you don't like, but yeah, <laughs> it's a use knife. Like you yeah. feel it and you're like, this thing wants to be used, but those I'm like, eh, yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, speaking of kind of these little makers and using, not using, uh, this next picture is from a guy called Honey Badger Arsenal. And uh, he's got a PLR in there, which I'm all about, Flytanium mm-hmm. Scales. It looks like it's the pen he made. Yeah, He I made think so. the pen. It's got his name on it, which is really neat. Yeah. Um, he's got a, and then the wallet is from that other guy, the Gorilla the first guy. Yeah. Leatherworks guy. So see, guys, it's, it's all like so interconnected. It's... It's this intriguing well, community of little makers. Yeah, even the pry bar is from John. Yeah, and then the pry bar yeah. is from John, who we, who we also <laughs> looked at there at the beginning, which is really intriguing. Um, but then also it's got this ruck tool in it. Yes. Which is kind of cool for, for a, a few reasons. Um, if you guys haven't seen the ruck tools, you should check them out. But uh, when Taylor came, he, he stopped by and he gave me one of these things. Um, so this is a branded... Yeah. Yeah. Best time EDC yeah. ruck tool, right? Yeah. That was, so, it was a big surprise to me. I didn't yeah. know these were coming. So yeah, that's yeah. really cool. So run, run us through run us through the tool real quick. Uh, so I think, I don't yeah. know, <laughs> I think ruck stands for rapid utility knife. Okay. And it's because a lot of the, the tools before this were uh, really two-handed. Mm-hmm. Like the Bigot Design TPT, you have to separate the two scales and then pull right. the blade out. Yeah, yeah. Um, this one you just push yeah. and you've got a little tension bar there that locks it in place. So rapid utility knife. I think that's what it means. Yeah. Um, but eh, you have, if not, we like the way it sounds. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got your utility knife. This is a cap lifter, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I thought this was like a strap cutter or something, but mm-hmm. it doesn't work for that. This is actually, he literally told me this was made just for his brother, oh, okay. who fishes a lot. That's oh, for, for cutting fishing line. Fishing line, perfect. Yeah. And a little pry tool, flathead, and a lanyard hole. That's great. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. You know, because everything has to have a hex bit driver. Yeah, so hex bit driver. Yeah. T- talk to me about this hex bit driver thing. What is this about? Like, wh- why does everything have to have a hex bit driver? I, I don't know. I haven't found almost <laughs> any of them useful ever. You know what right. I mean? Like, like, I don't think I've ever used one. <laughs> but so it, there's but it's got to be on there. Yeah, there's a, a thing called a bit vault from a company called Lever Gear that it, it doubles as a screwdriver. Yeah. And it works because it's in the end. And it actually... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you works. can actually use it, yeah. But these, the problem I have is that you're trying to screw something like... This this doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work as the well. The bit falls out like yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but but all the way but but everything else here pretty red. Yeah, yeah. So, I would almost prefer it, and I've told him this. I would almost prefer it without a cap lifter though. Oh yeah. Huh. Yeah. Uh, you gotta have a bottle opener, man. You gotta have a bottle. Opener. I mean, it's you can already open a bottle with just that. That's true. That's true. No, you're you're not wrong. Okay. You're not wrong. <laughs> all right. Let's see what this next one's about. Uh, so this is this is this is another guy that you know. Right? Yeah, so I have a Discord server. He's very active in there. I actually bought one of my knives from him. Yeah. So we've we've talked a lot. Yeah. Um, but and this is Puff. I don't, okay, know, Puff. I don't know his real name. Puff Puff G. Puff. It looks like on. <laughs> yeah, Puff Puff, Puff. G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's a cool guy, very active in the server, very knowledgeable, and uh, has a lot of very expensive knives. Yeah. Very, a lot of knife envy going on in there. That's cool. So yeah. uh, one of the reasons that we picked Puff's uh, EDC was... Two reasons. So one, he's got the M4 Shaman in it, which is awesome. I love the Shaman. The M4 variant was great. And then the other reason was in the comment or in, in the description, he <laughs> said, about that. "He said, P.S. I wish Zach was my dad." <laughs> and so Taylor kind of knows this guy. So I was like, "Is he like a kid?" And he's like, "No, he's not a kid." So you know, Puff, you want to hang out sometime? Just let me know, buddy. <laughs> yeah. um, but what else do we have going on in this in this picture? That's kind of like an EDC staple. Uh, Pop off leather. So if you're in the EDC world at all, you're probably familiar with Popov Leather. He makes a lot of ton, a ton of wallets that are they're all great quality, but he does uh, notebook covers and belts. He has yeah. a really nice, really nice belt. Cool. Um, his driftwood leather is just I don't. Know, there's something about Popov like I've had a bunch of leather wallets. There's something about them like you get them in, they smell, and the smell doesn't go away. Like I, I carried a very similar wallet to this of his for maybe three years, and right. it still smells brand new. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, so there's that, and then the the I can't remember is that a style PS? 
The or, Leatherman? Yeah. Oh, that's a Skeletal. I'm pretty sure it's a Skeletal. No. I don't yeah, know. that's Skeletal. Uh, well, yeah. either way, both of them Let us are... know in the comments. You guys can see it. You guys let us know yeah. in the comments. <laughs> um, and there are tons of Swiss Army Knives. You don't see in, like, in these really put together EDCs, you don't yeah. see a ton of like red scale, like traditional Swiss Armies. Yeah. But I don't know many that don't have one in them. Like, yeah, at least like, one. It's yeah, just, yeah, yeah, for sure. They're for common. Sure. And that the flashlight, the copper I3T EOS from Olight is... Right. Yeah. You can't really get them anymore because they, they only made, I think, 10,000. Oh, interesting. They're so gone. they're gone. They're gone. Oh. Uh, but it's also And that's kind of another another thing in the EDC community. There's a lot of like trading, right? And like selling yeah. of items like that. Like, oh, that's yeah. gone. So like, let's trade or sell or whatever. Yeah. I have two yeah. in the new inbox that I bought. Nice. Two just, new inbox. Just, just hang on to Just hang on. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. Keep an eye. He might be selling them soon. <laughs> Probably give them away because that's that's what I do. Yeah. And uh, I got a better look at that Leatherman, guys. It is a PS4. Don't worry. We're, we're on track. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and then let's see. So the we got a couple honorable mentions, but the last one that I want to like look at, look at was submitted by S. Gonzar, maybe? I guess. That's a cool name. S. Gonzar. And uh, the reason that I chose this one, guys, is this is crazy. So he's got he's got the Surge, the Leatherman Surge, and then what light is that? Uh, Olight M2R Warrior, which is a big, heavy light. Yeah, so like, and then, you know, obviously his keys with his, with his Leatherman multi-tool. And I love this because, like, I don't know what this dude does, but I feel like he builds tanks or something yeah. like that. He doesn't hold back. Like, he, he does not hold back. He goes for, like... Top yeah. tier. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should have, I should have like, like Instagram stalked him and seen like if he's like just this like mountain of a man. And yeah. he's like, no, this is a normal flashlight. But either way, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Either way, S. Gonzar, you're doing it right, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I bet he has a really good belt just to hold his pants up. Dude, he's that got heavy. He's got to. And that's the thing is, the Surge is my is is my favorite Leatherman, right? Like I did a thing on the Free Series. You've done a thing on the Free Series mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. I really loved that P2. Like really loved it. Um, but like if I'm gonna do a do carpentry or something like that, I'm gonna take the Surge. I don't wear it daily. I'll put the P2 in my pocket any day of the week, but I don't like I don't like the search for everyday carry. But. I'm, I'm a P4 guy. Yeah, I know you're a P4 guy. You like that pocket clip on the P4. I don't have one yet. I know, but I think it's I think it's a little heavy, man. I think you're gonna get it and be like, eh. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, I carried a wave for a long time, but yeah. it's still. I love the wave too. It's yeah. a great one. Um, so, anyways, uh, so a couple honorable mentions, and then we're gonna give you guys our pocket dumps. So uh, we've got an honorable mention from Jake Holper. And I just love this one. He's got some really well used pieces. He's got he's carrying a BRS with him. Like it's a cool, cool, cool pocket dump. Yeah. I, I was into this one. And then uh, I saw uh, our buddy Utah Knives. He comes into Blade HQ all the time. Super great guy. As you guys can see in the picture, he has a laser engraved BHQ on his. I just forgot the name of the knife. Hidden Canyon. The Hidden Canyon. And uh, he got that done at our grand opening, which, which is pretty cool. That is really yeah, yeah. He's he's yeah. a great guy. You guys should check out his Instagram. Super rad dude. Um, and there's actually another, um, it's on my phone, so I'm gonna take just a second. There was actually another one that I missed because like, you know, like I said, there were a lot of really good ones. Give me one second, guys. Here we go. Another honorable mention is Miko's Knife Life. Oh, yeah, this guy. dude submitted like 30 pictures <laughs> and I think he just went back and like hashtagged old pocket dumps, but his pocket dumps are stellar. Yeah, you guys can see here. They're all on point. They're just all on point. If you guys are into pocket dumps, follow that dude. I don't even know who he is. Follow that dude, he's got some great stuff. Um, and they're, they're like, multiple pictures per post like yeah it's panels. like it's like, like you get a picture and then you scroll and you get close-ups of everything else it's incredible and then uh, i like this one in particular because it had the uh admit one to valhalla i love that patch i don't yeah. care i love it it's fun yeah. so yeah so those, those are some honorable mentions there were some amazing pocket dumps guys it was really hard to choose but those were those were kind of our top picks um now do you want to go first or you want me to go first I don't know. You made it a competition. I did make so it a competition. So I'm, so I'm, I'm, letting you, I'm letting you choose. Do we do like one after another? Okay, go ahead. You go first then. All right. You, I'll one, start with the wallet. Start, start with, with the wallet. wallet. Oh, I don't have my wallet. That's okay. Let's go. Okay. Go. Uh, Travex Contour. Nice. That is... Uh, I, I switch wallets a lot. Okay. Uh, but this is one that I come back to a lot. Of, uh, probably more than anything. And it's just... I don't know. It's great. It's it's compact. Holds everything together. And if you need to adjust it, you can. Like, yeah. If you carry more cards, you can... You know, See, it. I've never done a Travex, but I know I know a lot of guys that really dig them. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and great wallet. You said everything needs a cap lifter. You got one there. Yep, exactly. Yeah. So so it's built in. <laughs> so I don't have my wallet with me, but I actually just use moleskin. Yeah, I use really? like a like the the small book moleskin. I tried to carry because uh, I like to keep a notebook on me. I tried to carry the uh, field notes. Mm -hmm. And they just, uh, they're too skinny and I beat them up too fast, but the moleskins stay together a little better. And then yeah. it has that pocket in the back. 
So I just put all my money and cards in that, and that's my wallet. Yeah, it works perfect. That's great. It works perfect. But I should probably pull something out. Uh, let's see what I have. Oh, yeah, I got this thing. So I got my Chavez. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's got a little bit of uh, fiberglass on it. That's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, so, you know, you guys know how much I love this Chavez. Super great knife. Uh, yeah, so that's that's my my knife of the day right now. I one for the first time yesterday, and uh, it was really hard not to buy one today. They're real good. But real good. I had to buy this. Oof, that one's oh. a good one. Guardian Tactical, yeah. Raycon 035. That's this was the one. limited edition, so there were only, I think, 10 of these. Uh, with this finish on it? Yeah. Awesome. So there were only 10 of these and uh, 50 of the Blade Show exclusives Cool. that were in Ben Blue. Yeah, I got uh, <laughs> I got locked in the closet. I haven't even seen them, so yeah. maybe I'll get to see them. So really, <laughs> I get really to see nice. this one at least. <laughs> yeah, awesome. If you guys awesome haven't checked night. out Guardian Tac, you need to. They make amazing stuff. All right, let's see what else I've got. Oh, I got the flashlight. Oh, I left mine over there. Ah, uh, see? That's where I left my wallet. So I got the, the Phoenix E12 on me. I love this flashlight every day, all day. Um, so it uh, this one, the battery might be dead. Just give it a little tap. Ah, there it is. Yep, battery's almost dead. Just bang it on the door. But it, uh, it's got three light settings when the battery's not dead. And uh, yeah, super great. Super great light. Light I always carry is pretty much always the Olight S2 Arbiton 2. Yeah, a lot of guys carry the Olight. I need to get an Olight in my pocket. I've carried this Phoenix for like four years or something. I, I should try an Olight out. I can send you one. Yeah. <laughs> I have, I have Might some. Might have to do that. Might have, have to do some. that. <laughs> but I guess I gotta pull something out, right? Yeah, if you got something. Well, uh, I'm actually almost out of things. Oh, hey, there you go. Little Micra. Yeah. Leatherman Micra. It's just a great little multi-tool. Yeah, and I'm noticing um, a theme here with the uh, with the beads. Even yeah, with, even with this? Yeah, I've always got some beads. I like that, okay. And, All right. And it's pocket jewelry. Yeah, it's pocket jewelry, right? Um, I got that, that Victorinox uh, compact, man. Like, I did that Victorinox video you guys saw with Craig, the sack collector, and uh, this thing hasn't left my pocket, so handy. We did Bally Comp today, I was using the scissors, I was using the corkscrew, I was using all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, yeah. I might outlast you here. You might, you might outlast me? <laughs> yeah, so, big idea design, TPT slide. I know I've got these branded, right. but yeah, yeah. the reason I carry this over that is the pocket clip. Oh, okay. I've cool. lost probably three of those. Right, because no pocket, no pocket clip. clip. That makes yeah. sense. So I like this. Very similar tool, um, also one-handed. Yeah. Uh, let's see, I think I'm out. I mean, I got something really cool. I've got, uh, I'm not gonna show you the other side, but this is uh, Tony Marfion's <laughs> personal <laughs> personal card and it's made out of metal, which is super wow. rad. But uh, that's all I got. That's, hard. that's it. Okay. <laughs> this is actually about my normal. <laughs> I got one more thing. I, I'm actually light. I, I don't carry all of this every day. Yeah. Uh, this is a spry bar, so these aren't available yet. Oh, okay. It's made a guy named, his, I think his Instagram handle is CJ Glass. Um, Glass and Heart is his last name. But he, this is a prototype, so he's not really brought them to market. But cool. A little pry tool. Right on. And you said you really dig the pry tools. Like, yeah. like you like to always have one with you. I don't always use them. You just like them. More than anything, it's like a little uh, okay. fidget toy. You should thing. get a crambit. Yeah. Just flip your cram it. <laughs> this is a little safer. A little bit safer. I can do this in public and nobody... <laughs> right, nobody's going to bat an yeah. eye at that. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. But right on. I well, let, it, it. let us know, guys. I mean, uh, you know, you obviously have more than I do, but, you know, I, this is, you know, there's a lot going on here. I'm just going to do this a couple times. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, let us know down in the comments. <laughs> All right, this is a lot of fun, man. Thanks yeah. for being on. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's for sure. Great. And thanks for following along, guys. Make sure to check out our uh, Blade Show 2019 playlist here on YouTube. We got a ton of great stuff going on.